Hello and welcome to Nanita Museum and Art Gallery's second collection chat. My name is Liz Taylor and I'm the museum's curator and one of the things I enjoy the most is a nice cup of tea. So today I'd like to tell you about an 18th century tea caddy that we have in our collection. Drinking tea is part of everyday life for many people in modern Britain but this wasn't always the case. Tea is native to China and was brought to Europe by Dutch and Portuguese merchants at the beginning of the 17th century. It was initially a luxury product that only the rich could afford. We don't know exactly who this tea caddy belonged to, but it would have been a wealthy household. It was used to store loose tea leaves to keep them fresh. There's still a few left in the bottom. Tea bags were not invented until much later in the 20th century. Most late 18th century tea caddies were made by cabinet makers and were wooden. They were often decorated with fine inlays of contrasting colours. This particular box has floral inlays on the side and on the lid and striped inlaid edging. During this period, tea caddies were made in single, double and triple sizes. This one is a double. It has two interior compartments with two removable lids. These would have each stored a different variety of tea. Triple caddies often had space for a glass bowl as well, which would have been used to blend different teas to create a different flavour or to store sugar. Demand for sugar rose as the popularity of tea, along with coffee and chocolate, increased. Europe imported sugar from the Americas. Sugar plantations used the labour of enslaved people, many abducted in Africa, to harvest and process the sugar cane. You might have noticed that this box has a keyhole. I definitely don't have a lock on my tea tin today. In the 18th century, tea was still very valuable. Caddies was displayed in a public room in the house to demonstrate a household's wealth and had a lock to prevent tea thieves. The mistress of the house was the keyholder. On this example, the keyhole is inlaid with ivory, showing it is a very fine tea caddy indeed. I hope you've enjoyed hearing about this object today. Look out for more collection chats coming soon.